Welcome to this supplemental training for the LSE Student Academic Mentor, otherwise known as SAM, online training program. The very short video will give you... Here is an outline of what we'll look at. Firstly, we'll look at managing a group. We'll discuss the importance of icebreakers and some possible challenges you may face. Then we'll look at three simple group work techniques you can use to help the conversation flow amongst your group. Lastly, we'll look at what to do if you feel you need more support. So, managing a group. If you do get your mentees together as a small group, this can be great. But it does lead to some challenges. It is really important, both for you as the mentor and for your mentees, that you take the lead in the first meeting and help your mentees to break the ice. If you have a group of mentees, don't assume all mentees know each other. Remember how difficult you found those first conversations and help your mentees begin to open up to each other. Remember, if a new person joins the group, do a new icebreaker for them. See if another mentor might like to combine groups and do a group activity together. A few more people may help things feel less awkward. And lastly, don't forget we have many example icebreakers you can use on the SAM Moodle page. So possible challenges you might face when dealing with a group. The size of a group. Too many? This is unlikely. Or too few? This is more likely. Try to tailor the icebreaker that you choose to the number of people you're expecting for the group meeting. Is everyone contributing? Try to find a way to include every person. Again, icebreakers are good for this, but you could also do this throughout the session. The group work techniques on the next few slides will help shyer mentees still be included. Is someone dominating? Again, a mentee may feel like they want to speak up a lot to help you out, especially if the others in the group are quite quiet but don't let your session end up basically a one-on-one -on -one between you and that mentee. Include the rest of the group with statements like, that's a very good point, what do you think? And ask another mentee by name what they think. Are they all looking blank, waiting for someone else to speak? Don't be afraid of silences. This can be hard, but sometimes what you interpret as blank looks are actually your mentees thinking about their answer Again, the group work techniques on the next slides and on Moodle can help with this. If the meeting is online, is everyone's internet connection fast enough? If someone is really struggling to connect to the session, as hard as it is, it might be best for you to suggest they sit this one out and you catch up with them later, rather than continuing to hold the session waiting for them to join in. Here are a few key techniques you might like to try if you do get your mentees together as a group. Don't forget, we have listed more of these on the SAM Moodle page. Rounds. Everyone takes a turn in a round to speak. They can pass once and speak when everyone else has spoken if they cannot think of something to say first time around. This is a helpful technique because everyone knows what is coming and everyone in the group is in the same position. Pyramid. First students work alone, then they work in pairs. Pairs join to make three or four. Lastly, the whole group feeds back. This is a really helpful technique if you have a group with a lot of quiet people. Allowing them the chance first to think about something on their own and then gradually increasing the number of people they talk to helps them to slowly warm up. Lastly, mind mapping. Ideas are expressed freely with a note taker, which will probably be you, around one particular area of concern. Ideas that could solve this problem are then discussed as a group. With this technique and the others, the group will often solve things themselves rather than you having to give the answers. Lastly, if you do need some more support or are finding working with a group of mentees challenging, don't forget there is more advice and guidance on the Student Academic Mentor Moodle page.
While this is very unlikely, if you are having some problems with your group, let us know. Don't just suffer in silence. Let your department or me know as soon as possible and we can help in moving or rearranging groups. You could also decide to switch to meeting mentees individually. It's up to you and what you feel is best. Okay, that's the end of this supplemental training. But don't forget there is more advice on working with a group and conducting online meetings on the Sam Mentor Moodle page.